million bucks and told you can only use it to build your own man cave. What does your man cave look like? What's its theme? Your latest project, Comic Book Man. Mm -hmm. I like the fact that in the title it's Comic Book Men and not Comic Book Boys because we've all kind of <laughs> grown up here. Grown up. It is. It truly is a show about men. I mean, that's the thing we didn't realize going in. I pitched a show called The Secret Stash. The idea was it's Pawn Stars in a comic book store. Then they showed me a first cut of the show, and I was like, oh my god, this is like Clerks, the unscripted show. And they're like, well, yeah, you made Clerks, duh. And I'm like, I never put that together. But now, what we see the show really is, it's about nostalgia. I want to know where they filmed it, because on what planet do they allow the star of the show to <laughs> wrestle a real bear? How long did it take you guys to get used to having the cameras all up in your faces all the time? Uh, you know what, you start to forget that they're there. So, not after about, what, a week? About a week. Uh, it took me two days, and you know, basically we're in the store, and we're busting on each other. There are cameras there, but we do that anyways, so you know, it's not really a huge difference. You know, what my all-time favorite talking dog is. No. <laughs> <laughs> Hong Kong Fui. Worked as a janitor in a police station, but by night, Bruce Lee, the Scat Man. They used to call me that in grade school. <laughs> So I was able to control my bowels. <laughs> Everybody knows the reality television. There's always a little bit of fiction and a little bit of fact. How much pre-production goes into each episode of Comic Book Men? Uh, other than the producers just lining up people to come in with some interesting product, not much. I mean, it's all off the cuff. The conversations have no idea where they're going to go, where they're going to lead. Obviously, aside from like guests or when the Batmobile came last year, it's like obviously somebody didn't just bring it in. But if you read the internet, they're like, oh, this is bull crap. Like, people don't just bring all that good stuff in one day. It's like, no, of course they don't. If you sat there and waited for people to just bring in good stuff, we would still be on episode one of season one. We'd still be shooting it because you got to cast that kind of stuff. It's just the way it is. Welcome to my bat cave, gentlemen. It's a reminiscent show, man. It's a show that appeals to people who are like, I put away fun things so I could be an adult, and now I'm seeing that I didn't have to put away those fun things, or even better, it's not too late to pull them out again. Because these guys are doing it, and they're married, and they're adults, and like, why not? They make it seem fun. They make fun of each other for liking it, but they can still appreciate it as well. So it's kind of like this tacit license to like, go ahead, man, go re-embrace that part of your childhood or your youth that you really enjoyed as a hobby. It was literally like we were on the set of a Chris Nolan Batman film.